How Living Things Get Energy, Bennett Mozilla, Ryan Claremont, Robert Warren, Jack Morrison, and Wyatt Fokine. General Information Adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, is the main energy source for cells. Energy is either derived from food or photosynthesis. Food intake mixes with acids and breaks down sugar to make energy. Glucose specifically is used for immediate energy. This is also known as a sugar high. The sun is the most important part of how living things get energy. It is the origin of energy that flows through the energy cycle. The energy cycle starts with the sun, where it radiates its energy to the earth and is picked up er, to producers, plants, they get their energy through photosynthesis, which is then plants are eaten by consumers, herbivores or uh, carnivores, and when consumers die, they are decomposed by bacteria and fungi, and that's how bacteria and fungi get their energy. And the cycle goes on. Plants use energy from the sun to convert water and carbon dioxide into glucose and oxygen. This is called photosynthesis. Being at the bottom of the food chain, the energy that plants receive from the sun makes the sun the most important energy source. Plants are known as primary producers in the energy cycle. Plants and algae get energy through photosynthesis where light energy from the sun is converted to chemical energy that is stored in sugar bonds. Um, photosynthesis mostly occurs in the leaves of the plants with little to no photosynthesis happening in the stem. The process occurs in the chloroplasts of the plants by using chlorophyll. In animals, consumers obtain energy by consuming producers. Animals use ATP for energy in cells. ATP is produced during the digestion process of food in animals. Fats from food become glycerol and fatty acids, which are later remade into ATP the energy of the body. A good example of animals getting energy from eating other things are moose. Um, moose have a diet of all plants, mostly aquatic, and they need to eat about 10,000 calories a day to maintain their weight. Um, the crazy part is that cellulose is very low in caloric value, so the amount of plants they have to eat is very large. Um, other animals like cows, sheep, and deer uh, also have diets like this. And what's necessary is four stomachs to digest the cellulose because it's so rough and harsh. Um, humans can't obtain energy like a moose can from cellulose. Again, adenosine triphosphate is the main energy source for most animals and humans. Uh, AD it's produced by cellular respiration from by oxidizing molecules, organic molecules from food intake. Uh, it transfers energy from chemical bonds into endoronic or chemical absorbing reactions. It's produced by the di 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 digestion of certain foods, and some of the most important molecules in AD ATP production are glycerol and fatty acids. And on the right is a diagram of what the ATP structure looks like. It has some phos phosphate groups. Another kingdom of living creatures is fungi. Uh, fungi are also members of the decomposers, like worms and insects. Um, decomposers all get energy from dead organic matter. Fungi are eukaryotic organisms. Some examples of fungi are mold, yeast, and mushrooms. Um, a commonly known um, example of fungi getting energy from uh, dead matter is fermentation, where alcohol is also made as a byproduct. Um, this is our work cited. Thank you for watching.